We're back inside of Clash of Clans and today bringing you guys the best Town Hall 9, Town Hall 10, and Town Hall 11 base inside of Clash of Clans. All of these brought to us by Clash Champs, starting out with this Town Hall 9 base, which is being attacked right now by the Lightning Drag Loon attack strategy, something that's so powerful at Town Hall 9. I'm telling you, Town Hall 9 has a hard time defending, and this base right here withstood between 7 and 9 attacks and was never 3-starred across two different wars. I did cover this base individually on the channel before. If you missed that video, go check it out. Base links for all three of the bases today are in the description of this video. Make sure you go check it out. But I mean, look at this. Surging for that Town Hall. You may be wondering, yo, Echo, why is the Town Hall so close to the outside of the base? They could easily take that down. Well, sure. Yeah, you can, but winning against a base is three-starring a base. Winning against a base is not grabbing two stars. That is losing. So don't lose. Don't be a loser. Go on in and grab those three stars. And you know what? If you are not grabbing three stars, that's totally cool, because you know what? I don't either a lot of the times. The best way that we practice these things is by going in with friendly challenges, practicing strategies, upgrading our troops and heroes until we progress ourselves to that point where we're actually able to triple bases when you master a certain strategy. But when you get bases like this, when you come on over to Clash Champs and you find bases that are just incredible, well, then it's gonna be even more difficult for you. So you wanna be one of those people that is putting out those incredible bases. Now, as I mentioned before, we have all three of the base links for all three of these bases in the description of this video. When you download those, when you decide to not build it yourself, but copy the base link, which you should build them yourself, by the way, you'll get yourself a lesson learned in base building, you can then switch it up. Move traps around, move defenses around, and if you build it yourself, rotate the base. I don't think you can rotate a base unless if you actually build it. You can't just rotate it from a base link, but change it up. This is a base on the internet right now, guys. You don't want everyone to know exactly where everything is. I mean, come on now. It's been on the Echo Gaming channel. Everyone's going to have seen it. But anyways, you want to mix it up, mix up your base. But this is a great design that can really give you a head start when you're in those wars, when you're trying to, de you know, defend in that clutch war, pull in those, uh, those defenses. Remember, the more defenses your base has, even if it does get three star after five hits, that's five different hits that the opponents had to waste on your base, which is a great tactic for winning wars. So this one did not go down to dragons. It's time to go look at a Town Hall 10. And now over here at Town Hall 10, we're able to use Siege Machines. So all of the Siege Machines are max level that you're gonna see here, and all the troops out of the Clan Castle or the Siege Machines are max level, yet the bases are still defending, which is pretty incredible. So right here, I decided to choose this strategy of the eight different attacks that this base withstood. I chose this strategy because it's one that's commonly used, especially for people that are newer to Clash of Clans, some type of a bow witch, bowlers and witches going inside of the base. And that's also a strategy that's used across many different town hall levels. You know, you got the Yeti bow witch type strategies that people use at higher levels, taking out the P.E.K.K.A.s. I don't know. It's something that I like to use myself. You know, I am the veteran spam attacker in Clash of Clans, by the way. If you didn't already know it, use code ECHO inside of the shop. When you purchase your bases over at Champ Bases, when you go and buy gems inside of Clash of Clans, when you buy your season pass inside of Clash of Clans, you can basically use code ECHO anywhere on the internet. So here we go, diving into the base. You have that wall wrecker leading the way right through that wall. Remember, the wall wrecker max level is going to crush these lava walls. This is a wall wrecker that's of Town Hall 13. Look at the clan castle though, mind you. Clan castle defenses are, um, well, they're important. And we've been seeing the super minion being used so much on defense, and it's crushing. The reason being, when the minion does come out of the clan castle, it stays back far. After a few seconds, it moves up, you know, a handful of tiles so that it can then get that closer range attack. It's really tough to poison them properly. You poison them too soon, they leave the, the poison spell. You poison them too, too late, and they get too much damage in your troops. So they're really a great clan castle composition. Part of why many bases can defend is the proper composition of clan castle troops that are being used for that particular base. And you better believe that every single base builder keeps this in mind and builds around that. Mind you, all these bases and more are available at clashchamps.com. You can use code ECHO, save yourself 10% on any bases that you buy, but they also have free bases there as well 
if you decide you just want to get go casual, you just want to get some bases for fun, go get the free ones. If you're playing in these high-end tournaments where money's at stake, you better believe that you need some of the best bases. You can't go rocking with some old school, you know, trash base that's been burned so many times. You need to go in with a base that no one's seen before, and that's how you're going to win. That's how you win these tournaments, of course, backed up to you having incredible attack strategies. So, you know, make sure you're on your game. By the way, check out the Beaker's Lab shirt we're rocking right here. Going over to Beaker's Lab channel right now, tell him that Echo says what's up, and that Echo looks fly in his shirt. But Echo, we're on Town Hall 11 right now. Why did you choose an Electro Dragon attack? Well, because Electro Dragons are used across Clash of Clans so often, all Town Hall levels that can use Electro Dragons. So I figured we better put one in here, right? And you may also say, yo, why is the Town Hall on the outside of the base letting that Electro Dragon snipe it out with no consequences whatsoever? And the reason for that is this is an anti three star base being able to stuff hard to get defenses in the core of the base. And if you look at the center of this base, you have the queen and the air defense kind of hanging out over there. Getting a lightning value on a base like this is not really the best. I mean, you could lightning out an air defense in the queen, but that's gonna be a big investment. Not even getting Inferno Towers or the Eagle Artillery. So really nice build right here as they're trying to make sure that the lightning spell isn't abused to take down some serious defenses. Look at that sweeper being, being frozen right there. Rage spell on the queen. Those balloons are going to make their way over there. Another freeze spell. Clutch freeze, clutch raise, rage. So I'm telling you, the attacks being done here are not trash. These bases are not standing because the attackers don't know what they're doing. The bases are standing because they're built well. Now, an unbeaten base is unbeaten. It's not unbeatable. Every base in Clash, there's not a, there's not such thing as a base that can't be beaten. It's just about bases that have not yet been beaten, which these are just, these are prime examples of bases that you can use and have big success with in your wars. But again, customize them, make them your own. Don't go in, don't download the base link and go in and say, oh, they three star my base because maybe they knew what it was, you know? And also another thing you can't do is have a rush base with low heroes, low defenses, and say that the base didn't stand. Well, of course it didn't stand. You have low troops, you have low low structures, you gotta upgrade that stuff. This game is an upgrading game. And in addition to that, you can't say, oh, my Town Hall 9 base got three-starred by a Town Hall 10. What do you mean it was unbeaten? A Town Hall 10 will almost always be able to three-star a Town Hall 9. A Town Hall 9 will always be able to three-star a Town Hall 8. A Town Hall 11 will always be able to three-star a Town Hall 10. A Town Hall 12 will only be always be able to three-star a Town Hall 11. You can't defend against higher levels. It's just really difficult to do. Now, can you? Yeah. Is it really hard? Yeah. And you got to hope for a noob attacker that's coming in against you as well. So right now, the E-Drags, they're slow. They're slowing down. The attack is about over. The video is about over. Hope you guys enjoyed this one here today and found a base that you can use in war. Remember, change it up. Remember, go to ClashChamps.com. Remember to use code ECHO in Clash or Champs, ClashChamps.com as well. I don't know. I love the bases. I love you guys. Have a great day and be good.